In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use link sharing in Google Drive. So in the previous video of Tech Time with Timmy, there'll be a link to it down below. Timmy showed you how you can do normal sharing with Google Drive. So you're just typing in their Google email address and then it sends it to them. But there's also link sharing, which can be quite handy if maybe you don't know what their Google email address is, or you just want to be able to send them a link, or maybe you're sending it to a lot of people. So with link sharing, what it really means is you can copy a link and you can send it to people and then anyone who clicks on that link will have access to the file and you can choose whether they can edit or view it, but anyone who clicks on that link will have access to the file and then they can do whatever they want with it. So it's not really super secure because anyone who happens to have that link can look at it. So it's not perfect for really confidential things or anything, but it can be a lot easier than having to know their Google email address and type it in. So in this video, Timmy's gonna show you how to use link sharing. So when you're on your Google Drive at drive.google.com, you just need to come down to your files and if you wanted to share this file here, you can just click on it so it's highlighted like this. And here's the share icon, but if you click on get link here, it will get a link that you can share with people. So this is the link that you can use to share with people. And if you click on copy link here, it will just copy it for you. But by default, it's set to restricted as you can see here, which means anyone who clicks on that link will not automatically be given access to it. They'll, you'll have to share it with them first and then they'll be able to click on the link and view the file. So that can be handy if maybe you shared, them, you shared their file with them quite a while ago and they're not sure how to access it again. You could just email them this link and then they'd be able to click on it and see the file. But if you want to actually have a shareable link where you can just send this link to anyone and they'll be able to access it. You just need to click on restricted here and change it to anyone with the link. And now anyone who clicks on this link will have access to the file. And by default, it's set to viewer here, which could be good if you want to send the link to a whole lot of people and you just want them all to be able to see it, but you don't want anyone to be able to make changes to it. So that can be good. Or if you click on viewer, you can change it to commenters so they'd be able to view it and they'd be able to leave comments. So if you're sending it to people and you want them to be able to give you feedback, maybe you could do that or you can change it to editor. An editor means they could make any changes they want. So because this is a picture, they could edit the name or they could delete the picture maybe and that's about it because you can't really do much with a picture. But if it was a Google Doc or a Google Sheet or something like that, they would actually be able to edit all the text inside the document or Google Sheet and make a whole lot of different changes inside there. So that can be handy if you want to do that. So Timmy's going to leave it set to editor and Timmy's already copied the link. So Timmy will just click done. And now you could go over to your emails and you could send it in an email or you could post it somewhere and you can just paste the link anywhere. So maybe to me, we'll go to Gmail and then click on compose here and then right click here and click on paste. And now here's the link. So anyone who clicks on this, you could send this email to anyone and anyone who clicks on it will have access to the file. So that's really cool. And you can also do it from within Google Docs as well, or Google Sheets or Google Slides. So if you were to open up this Google Doc here, you can go up here to the blue share button here and click on that and it will say loading. And now you'll see down here this get link option. So if you click on copy link, it will copy the link to the Google Doc, but you'll see down here it says restricted. So that means only the people who you shared it with can access it. But if you click on change to anyone with the link, it will now be changed to anyone with the link can view, or you could change that to editor if you want. So anyone with the link can edit and then you can just click on done. And now you have the link to Google Doc and anyone who clicks on the link will be able to edit your Google Doc. So that's really cool. And that's really all there is to link sharing. It's not the perfect ideal solution for certain things, but for certain other things where you're maybe conversing via email or you want to share it to heaps of different people, it can be really great to be able to have a shareable link. So that's really cool. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool and Timmy will see you in the next video.